Hey guys, welcome back to another Swiss Surgery 1 video. And today, we are back in X-Plane, finally. Or, yeah, we actually are in X-Plane every single day. This is the primary flight simulator that I'm using, for all those people asking. Also, you should follow me on Instagram or do whatever. And this was a very random intro, but, but today we're gonna talk about the Illusion Ill-96. Also called the A340 of the East. Now, yeah, I'm gonna compare this plane to the A340 and talk about it and its history. Let's just jump right into it. This thing had its first flight in 1988, which was 31 years ago. It was introduced with Aeroflot. Now, this thing is not considered a commercial success. Only 30 of these were built. In fact, the only airline that, you know, was actually using it was Kubana, which was mentioned before on my channel. They use a lot of old and uh, Russian planes. Now, this long-haul aircraft has four engines, as you can see right here. And generally, it looks very much like the A340, which is why it also is called an A340 fake, which makes no sense because this plane had its first flight in 1988, which I've already talked about early while the airbus a340 had its first flight three years later in 1991 so that already makes no sense right so you can say none of this is a fake or something this thing just happens to look like the a340 also we have winglets on here but you can definitely say that the a340 and this aircraft serve the same long haul market and definitely the a340 was a competitor to this one now maybe let's talk about why this aircraft in particular failed Oh, Jesus Christ. And we have absolutely died. Now, maybe we should spawn in at a bigger airport. So let's just imagine you want to buy an aircraft somewhat like the A340, but you are also open for more of an exotic aircraft like the L96, and you have to decide between those two aircraft. Now, the biggest difference between those two aircraft is the price. Now, the A340 costs around uh, 100 to 200 million dollars, depending on the model. Well, the Ilyushin is a lot cheaper at around 40 to 50 million. That's almost half, or even a quarter of that what the A340 costs but, but, but. this thing seats a lot less passengers and is generally smaller and uses a lot 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 more fuel than the A340 and this is the A340 also called the pencil plane because it's so extremely long but yeah I really like the A340 and, and I think it's really sad that the A340s are getting retired but you know four engines are kind of inefficient inefficient which is a problem obviously now, this is the cockpit. This looks uh, really great. We have really realistic stuff going on here. You know, this is 4K. As you can see right here, we have realistic faces of aliens. And it's really creepy. Jesus Christ, this is even more creepy. Just imagine you board your plane and walk past the cockpit. And you see the pilot's faces. Now, another big part, especially back in the days, was safety in flight. And as a few of you guys should already know, the A340 has pretty much the best safety rating ever. No one has ever died on an A340, which is very good. Maybe someone had a heart attack, but... You know, but you know, th not this type of death. Uh, now you might think, well, the Russian aircraft is totally gonna be unsafer. But in fact, the uh, Russian aircraft had way less incidents. This thing pretty much had one incident. And that was catching fire in the hangar. So yeah, maybe this has a very good safety rating because only 30 of these were built. Now, taking a look at the cockpit, this looks like a regular modern Elyushin cockpit. We have a green tint, which we can see in pretty much every eastern airplane. Well, I think it's genuinely sad that this airplane failed, but you can definitely say, well, the A340 is so much better. It's better in miles. And therefore, it's quite obvious that the A340 has around 10 times more sales than this aircraft. And personally, if I owned an airline, then first of all, I would be rich. And second of all, I would really prefer the A340 over the Ilyushin aircraft. Oh no. We have two pilot clones in here. I don't know how Russia does that. Very interesting. And again, another strong point for the A340 is obviously its fuel efficiency. Well, not any more efficiency, but especially for that time, and generally aerodynamics and also avionics. The A340 was a bit more modern than this plane. Oh, here we got a last side-by-side -side comparison. This is the Il-96, this is the A340 in the Swiss livery. And again, you can see some similarities and differences. But uh, yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night.